Oh, hey, what's up? I'm just trying to get rid of my chin strap over here. <laughs> As I've said in other videos, I started a retinol and for some reason, my chin is where all the redness is occurring. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Undone Beauty Conceal to Reveal Palette 3-in-1 Coverage Cream. I was already intrigued about this, and then I saw that Julia Adams posted about it and said it was a favorite of hers. So I was like, okay, I guess I'll try it. It's pretty affordable. It has good reviews on Ulta. Let's just give it a go. You guys know I'm always here looking for either the best color correctors for under eyes because or the best concealers. If you guys are interested in seeing a wear test and a review of all different coverage levels, please continue to watch. Make sure to subscribe and let's get in with the picture. It says it features a three-in-one customizable coverage from sheer, medium, opaque with coconut extract. This coverage cream gives a natural dewy finish. The number one sheer formula is dewy coverage for all over and highlighting. Two, medium formula is meant for full coverage for under the eye circles and all over coverage. And three, the opaque formula is for total coverage concealer for blemishes and tattoos. How to use. Use your fingers or your favorite makeup brush to apply and blend on skin. Customize the best coverage for your needs. Knowing myself, I will use the opaque option for my under eyes. Just in case you're wondering, this is one, sheer coverage. This is two, medium coverage, and three, opaque coverage. And I got it in the color 410 Porcelain Light. And I used this yesterday and it's a lot lighter than I thought it would be. Just looking at it, I thought it would be almost too deep for me. And then I swatched it and it's like nearing on too light for me, especially with my beautiful red complexion that I currently have. So here is what it looks like next to my skin. <laughs> Hi. I'll start by putting one versus two, then I'll do one versus three, and then I'll do two versus three. And then after that, I'll wipe it all off and do a full day wear test of three, the opaque version. When you touch it, it feels I don't wanna say it, but it feels like a greasy formula. Kind of feels like those, the lip products that come in compacts like that. And you can see the shine that my finger left. It just has a greasy feeling. One, two, three. You can tell honestly that there's a difference in coverage just from that swatch. So what I saw Julia Adams say is that this sucks with a sponge. Don't use it with a sponge. And her preferred method is to use it with her finger, which is what I'm going to do. That's honestly how I apply all concealers anyway. So not a problem. So I currently have nothing under my eyes. I usually will use a color corrector, but for the sake of demo, I am not going to when I'm showing you guys three different coverage levels. So let's start with sheer. So you'll see this comes off a lot lighter than it looks in the packaging, which is strange, but just keep that in mind when you're looking at the colors. There's not that many options. I think there's like seven, so they could do better there, but keep in mind, it comes off a lot lighter than the component. I'll just stop here. I put like two layers and I would say this is a very sheer option for concealer. Honestly, I wouldn't even wear this for natural makeup. I would still feel insecure with this amount of coverage, but that's just me. Now I'm going to do the medium coverage under this eye. And right off the bat, there is a teeny bit more coverage here. Lovely. I feel like I could have gotten a deeper color. I'm just going to build this up a little bit. This is what the sheer and the medium complexion are looking like. Right off the bat, this is a very dewy formula and I told you that, that's no surprise. It's already starting to crease a little bit so I definitely would set this, just me personally. I have very deep set eyes and they crease easily. As far as no makeup makeup days go, I'd probably go for the medium and I don't really know what I would use the light coverage for or the sheer. I feel like honestly, this would even work for color correction underneath concealer. Cause it's moisturizing could be a good base for concealer to go on top. And you can see the medium, it does work. It's just not working with my skin tone because I'm so freaking red right now from retinol. It's just, it's not, it's not a good day. So I am going to take the opaque concealer here at the bottom and apply it to this eyeball and we'll compare it. Right off the bat, yeah, that's a lot more opaque upon initial application. So this is one layer versus like two layers of the medium and I feel like they're about equal in coverage. I'm going to apply just a little bit more because that's how I do be and see how it layers. Definitely very easy to blend. 
I'm gonna, just to be fair game, I'm gonna put some of the medium on my eyelid just so we look equal on both sides. I have very veiny discolored eyelids as well. I just got lucky in all aspects. So here is what we are looking like. So you can definitely see comparing these two sides, there's some additional shadowing around here on the medium level of coverage versus the opaque. I just feel like there's a lot more pigment in the opaque shockingly. And this would definitely be my speed as far as concealing goes, just because I feel like I have pretty dark under eyes, but this is still not as high coverage as I would prefer. I've had higher coverage. My hourglass concealer is way higher coverage. It's definitely my preference, but there is an obvious difference between the two. And now for the grand finale, I'm going to compare the opaque to the sheer coverage. And this is very easy to remove as well. I know some of you folk don't like it when I use these wipes, but uh, it's what's easiest in this moment. Here is the opaque versus nothing. This is why I use concealer. I am now going to apply the sheer on this eyeball. See, you can already see I'm creasing a crap ton. So I'm gonna test it and set it later so we can see how it really wears. This is very sheer. If you guys are blessed and don't have circles like me, this might just be a good, quick, easy way to get out the door. And I feel like you can't really build up the sheer too much. So here they are compared. Here is the opaque versus the sheer. Honestly, when you look at it, it looks like my skin. It looks like maybe I'm just a little bit more blessed in another eye category. Whereas this opaque, you can tell I'm wearing makeup. So there definitely is a visible difference between the two. It just depends what kind of vibe you are going for or what level of darkness that you have to conceal. I am going to take off both eyeballs. I am going to do a full face of makeup using the opaque concealer and do a wear test to see how that works. And full transparency, I will be using an under eye corrector in this video just because that is how I normally do my makeup. And I wanna give this a fair shot compared to how I usually use my normal preferred concealer. I don't want it to just be, you know, 10 points down right out the gate because I'm not using a color corrector. I also am curious to see how it layers with a color corrector. I'm gonna put this under both of my eyeballs. See, this is even higher coverage than the sheer version of that concealer, so. There's that. Like if I wanted to have a sheer no makeup look for my under eyes, this is what I would use. I would use this over that concealer, but that's just me. Okay, so I am going to use the, I'm gonna try to make my makeup look as good as possible. So I'm going to be using the Hourglass Concealer to set it, or Hourglass Setting Powder. And I do like to conceal a little bit below my under eyes as well, just to make everything look blended. And then I also put it on my eyelids. Also, there's no like distinct break between the three different concealers. So I could see that getting messy if you use this often, they'll just all start to blend together. So not my favorite. And then I'm also going to use this. I think I'll use the medium coverage and I'll use it like on my nose because I do have some redness here. This is where I would put normal concealer. My nose just looks uber dry because uh, the retinol, so. Also put them down here. I'm already looking super heavy, <laughs> I feel like. Here is what the concealer is looking like. I still have some darkness, which I wish was not there. I am going to set this now with my hourglass because I will crease and I can tell you that much. And then I like to use a sponge to get right under because I really have to lock it in. Okay, so here's what I look like immediately after setting and I feel like the word that comes to mind is just dry. I just look super dry, especially on my nose and my chin, but my skin is very dry and flaky right now, so that might not be the concealer's fault. But if you have drier skin, maybe be aware. I am now going to make myself look more alive. I'm gonna do my full face and then I'll be back and show you guys what we are looking like. In case you're wondering, I'm not, I'm not sure how good my makeup's gonna look, but if you're wondering what to use, I'll have everything linked below. These are like my everyday makeup that I use. And here is what my final face looks like. I'll just say this ain't my best makeup day. This is but I feel like the 
problem areas are my nose and my chin and that's because I'm dry right now. So let's just pay attention to the under eyes for the sakes of this video. They look pretty smooth. They don't look too dry. My only thing is there's just not enough coverage for me personally. I feel like there's still a lot of shadowing, especially around here, but the texture of it looks good so far. I'm going to wear this all day just to see if the amount of coverage that is here stays throughout the day, if it creases, things like that, if it starts looking heavy, and I'll let you guys know. But so far, it's fine. It's just not the best coverage wise, in my opinion. And this is the opaque version. Also, before I forget, I also did pick up this Undone Beauty Matte Talk lipstick in the shade 2215 Baby Beige. So I'm gonna wear this for the video too. I wiped off what I was wearing. Here's what it looks like. It's just a nice twist up top. Let's see what she looks like. So it's a very interesting texture because it is considered a matte lipstick. You can definitely feel it's matte on the lips, but it's not drying. When I rub my lips together, it feels just like a normal matte lipstick that you would get from any other brand, honestly, but it's a lot less opaque. So let's swatch it here. Here it is, you can see it's a lot less opaque of a formula. And honestly, I'm not crazy about this color. It's a little bit more orange than I was expecting, but I think it's a nice product. It does feel a little bit heavy. Like I can feel it on my lips, which isn't my favorite feeling. It's not bad. It doesn't look drying on the lips. It has a nice amount of coverage. Looks a little bit more natural. So just thought I would throw that in there. And now I will see you guys later. Hello, you guys. So a doobie, what a doobie. It's been like five and a half hours. I'm going to end the video here because typically not much happens in the five to eight hour mark. So it's gonna be my final review, okay? Very dark under my eyes. I will do a comparison of my eyes now compared to when we first started. I feel like it has worn away. It's darker than it was at the beginning. This is just not the coverage I personally look for in a concealer. I do have darker under eyes, but if you're someone who was blessed genetically and doesn't have as much darkness as me or just doesn't prefer as high of coverage, I do think you may like this concealer. So right off the bat, definitely the coverage is not there for me. Secondly, there is some creasing that isn't normally there. So creasing under here and then right around here. It's not awful creasing, but it is there and it is more than would be typically. And then, you know, the elephant in the room, my freaking nose is just a mess. It's so dry and my chin, I look like the Sahara Desert. I can't say it's all the concealer's fault, but it's definitely not hydrating and helping the situation. I can tell you that much. But under the eyes, it doesn't look too drying. There is a little bit of dryness. Over here in the edge, you can see some fine lines, but it's not awful, doesn't look heavy or cakey. It's just not enough coverage, and it's not like it's super hydrating either. Any of the coverage levels, not my favorite. I would lean towards the opaque mostly, and that is still not enough coverage for me. It kind of depends what you're looking for. If you are more of a no makeup makeup girl, or you just don't have as dark circles, this might be a product you can reach for and you can use it for a different coverage, whatever you're feeling for the day. Another thing to keep in mind is definitely be conscious about the shade range. I feel like the shades are lighter than you think they will be. For people like me, who have drier skin, a lot of darkness they wanna cover, not my cup of tea. And then as far as the lips go, it came off, I just ate, I reapplied it. It's fine, actually, I'm totally fine with this. I feel like it's longer lasting than a gloss because I did eat a little bit and it didn't go away. But after I ate my dinner, it did go away. So it's definitely longer lasting than a gloss. It's a matte finish without being super drying, but you can feel it on your lips. But it doesn't look drying at all. It just doesn't have a shine to it. So I'm fine with it. I would keep it if I like the color more. This color is just a lot more peachy than I was expecting. That is my review. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know if there's anything else you have in specific you'd like me to review. And I would be happy to do it for you. I will have the makeup that I wore in this video as well as what I talked about linked in the description below. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I know a lot of you guys do not subscribe to my channel. I don't understand. Let me know in the comments why you don't or don't. Don't let me know. And I upload videos every single Wednesday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time so you know where to find me. And I will see you guys next Wednesday. Peace out. Bye. Haters, peace. Oh,
should have known that we could, we could never be friends. 